So we're just going to quickly cover how to change out the radial o-ring on the inside of a telescope and retrieval tool between the valve adapter and the inner barrel. Now this is an o-ring that's quite often missed during uh, routine servicing but it's extremely important that this get done. So tools required, you need uh, an eighth of an inch uh, Allen key, some o-ring uh, seal removers, a C-spanner and this is a handy tool for holding that in our barrel still while you're unscrewing the valve adapter. Not necessary, but it certainly makes the job easier. Some grease and of course the o-ring, a new o-ring and a backup ring, PTFE backup ring. So. The first step is to loosen the two eighth of an inch Allen keys grub screws. I just prefer to take them right out. And then from there, you can use the inner barrel clamp grip to hold that inner barrel in place while you out unscrew it out the barrel. It will initially be a little stiff because that o-ring is sitting against the sealing surface on the inside. But once you get it rotating and that, that comes free, it'll loosen up nicely. Once that hits that spot, you can undo the rest of it by hand. Now the o-ring itself can be seen there on the inside. So there's an o-ring in here with a, a Teflon backup ring behind it. That's the ones we're looking to remove. The o-ring goes on the side where the pressure's coming from. So in the case of the valve adapter, pressure's coming up through this way. And then the, the backup ring goes on the outside. So the backup ring is there to stop the o-ring extruding into the gap. So it just keeps it in place. So I'll just give this a quick wipe. Quick clean up. Just get rid of any old grease or dirt or anything that might be in there. And then we'll try and fish these out with uh, one of the seal removers. Can be a bit tricky to get into and actually get them out. But if you persevere, you can catch them and then just remove those. So those are the, the old O-ring and old backup rings. So we'll change these out. These should be changed out as routine. O-rings will they can harden over time or start to flatten off just with sitting in that groove. So I'll give the groove itself a clean out just with a rag. And then we'll look at putting the new one in. Putting the new one in, load it up with plenty of grease, put it one side, backup ring, and just do the same on that. So the backup ring has a split in it. This just helps ease the installation. So I'll pop that in first. Okay, now that's in place. I'll go from the other side and put the O-ring in.
cover that in. So that's it seated down into place. You can see the new o-ring in there with a backup ring on this side. So the backup ring's on the, th the thread side and the o-ring seated all the way. Just make sure it is properly seated into that groove or it will catch on the way in. So you need to do that. Just give it another little layer of grease just on the, the inside of the o-ring just to help the installation onto the, the sealing surface. So the sealing surface is basically this, this section here. So as that screws on, it'll just move up over the sealing surface. There is another O-ring which has changed out more routinely and that's the one on the face side as well. So this is the one that seals with the top of the valve. It's important to check that before every retrieval, before any time you take the tool and put it back on, just give that a check. Screw this back into position. So you will be able to tell when you're screwing it on when it starts to get a little stiffer that's that o-ring sitting onto that sealing surface and just taking up that space and at that point just use your c-spanner to tighten it on it should go nice and easy lock that into place you'll actually be able to see if you've removed the uh, the grub screws you'll actually be able to see there's a groove on here on the inner barrel and that's where those grub screws sit into so if you if you can't see that then it's not screwed in far enough but when you're screwing this on it'll just come to a complete stop as well there's no need to over tighten the, the valve adapter it'll come to a complete stop it's a radial o-ring it's not going to make it seal any better by by trying to over tighten it And the last grub screw in, just give it a quick tighten, and that's it. Replaced, take the clamps off. Okay.